Hey, it's Ben here, and in this Final Cut Pro tutorial, we're gonna have a look at how we use the Picture-in-Picture -picture plugin from FX Factory. So there's a whole bunch of different options here for creating these quick animation and picture-in-picture -picture setups within Final Cut Pro. We're gonna have a look through a few of them and have a look at some of the settings and tools that are available. So first thing we're gonna do is come to File, New, and Project to create a new timeline that we can work with. So once we've got this set up, we'll come into our footage. We're gonna come down to our music, keywords here i'm going to grab this record player drop it down to the timeline and i'm just going to hold down shift and tap z to get it to fill the timeline so we're going to have a look at how we can first of all just quickly use the the picture in picture so we'll grab a video to use here drop it down to the timeline and where we'll find the picture in picture or pip video tools is in our effects across on the right and if we scroll down we're going to find the fun with stuff pip kits and you can see we've got these basic shapes so for instance uh circle that we can drag on. We've got some basic tools such as the outline color. And what will happen when this pops on is just a simple animation. And then we have controls for modifying the shape and size and location of the video within our picture in picture. And then also some other settings too. So we'll come up to our inspector here and we'll just delete the circle effect there and we'll have a look at the the rectangle with text so we'll drag this on and you can see here if we move our playhead to the middle just moving up to the top right in our inspector and um, we have some options for whether we want it to build in and out we can move this to the left or right we can also move it up and down obviously and then we can scale everything in there we've also got options for the box scale so we can make this bigger we can also change the X scale and the Y scale independently. So we can get this kind of nice letterbox effect. And then we've got options for the rectangle roundness. So we can increase the roundness. And then we've got some options for the shape as well. So we've got a rectangle, we've got a squircle one, squircle two, and squircle three, just different rounded rectangles. We'll stick with the main rectangle. Uh, we can also move our content around as well and obviously you can see here when i move my content too far to the left it kind of crops off with the outline there we can change the content scale as well so we can zoom right in and then we've got some options with the, the mask offset too so we can change the location of that video within there too so some nice kind of clean controls for modifying this if we scroll down a little bit more we have options for our font color back here now one cool thing about the hip kit is that if we come up to our generators on the top left, we can come down to the Fun With Stuff Pip Kit and we have these quick adjustment layers. So you can see the text isn't very visible here with the way we have this set up. We can choose the Obscure with Fade or Obscure with White option. We'll choose this one. And basically what this will do is it's gonna add a little wipe there and then you can see our video pops up nicely. So just fading the background there, we can, with this, obscure with wipe option selected we can change the the brightness so we can actually darken the background a bit more we can change the the gamma we can change the vignette size so we can kind of darken the edges off a bit more and then also we can change the, the blur amount as well so we can have more of a blurred background we also have a tint color here as well so if we select a color and increase the tint amount then you'll see let's choose a bit of a brighter color and you'll see we can get a nice kind of tint on the background there as well. And we'll leave the, the tint off for the moment. And we can continue to, to kind of play around with these settings of so the brightness and the tint amount just until we kind of get the settings that we are happy with there. Maybe we will modify the, the color a little bit here. So that title's starting to pop quite nicely there. So if we come back to our video, we can scroll down, we can change things like the, the title here. Got options for the font. Change that font size. And also font color too. And scrolling down, we've got the, the stroke options as well. So we can change the, the color of the stroke. We can change the outline width. We've also got some options for fading the outline outside or blending it in and fading it inside. And then also the outline offset as well. So we can actually have that outside of the, the edges of the, the video there too. So if we just stretch this out and we'll just 
change the wipe speed as well. So we'll be able to slower wipe and we'll come back and we'll play this through. So it's some nice neat controls there for the kind of basic picture in picture effect. So you can see in the video that we started out with, we've got some other options too, kind of this Polaroid style effect. We've also got some all shapes where we can really adjust the, the corners there. So let's have a look at a couple of these. So we'll move this down the timeline a bit. We're gonna come in and add another video to the timeline. So we've used a landscape video here. We'll pick a portrait video and we will have a look at this freeform four corner picture in picture. So we'll drag that onto the timeline and we'll bring our playhead back. So we're just seeing that one video. So in here, we've got some nice controls for modifying the box scale. So here you can see we can modify the box scale height and also the width. So we can make it nice and slim. So that portrait video fits in there. We can modify the position of these corners too. So you can see I can move those corners to get them to match nicely with the design that I'm working on. And we can also change the, the roundness of those corners as well, increase that as much as we want. So we've got a nice level of control over how the corners are set up. We can also move our content within that box too. So again, just kind of watching out for the edges, but this allows us to reframe things or scale things nicely within that box that we have set up. So obviously you'll wanna set that up and then just make sure that things work in there. So that's looking pretty nice. So if we wanna move this to the left or the right, then there's a couple of things to note. So if we use the move tools within the pit kit, then it's gonna actually use the crop of the video there. So what we would need to do is actually use the transform controls down here at the bottom left and then we can move the entire video that we have there. So if we scroll down, you can see for this overlay, we also have our colored outline, some nice tools there. We have our outline offset, which I quite like. So that little bit of a distance from the edge. And then we also have this option for a shadow too. So if we turn on the shadow, then you can see if we increase the shadow opacity and the shadow distance, we'll actually change the color of this we'll get a nice shadow of actually the video and the outline too. I'm gonna to bring the outline offset back to zero. So we'll just click here and reset that. And you can see now we've got that nice little drop shadow popping out there. So no shadow blur, just modifying the shadow distance. So it gives it that nice little drop shadow from the original video. And we can play around with the, the color. Let's look for a nice blue there. One thing that we can do here as well is if we wanna edit within this video, uh, I'm gonna trim this down a bit. We'll grab another one of the portrait videos. So I wanna cut from this first video to the second video. So what we can do here is if we select this video and the second video, I'm just holding down Command to do that. I can do Command and G to group those together as a connected storyline. And then in here, if we select the first of these two videos, we can copy that, come to the second video, and then go to edit and paste attributes. And what that will do is it allow us to paste the, the freeform four corner, the transform options that we have there, and basically match the location of those two videos. Now, the only thing we need to change here so the edit was nice and clean is that we turn off the build out up here at the top right in the inspector, come to the second video and turn off the build in. And so now we'll just turn off this other video layer and we'll play this through. So you can see we get our nice slow wipe, we get our video pop up, and then it will cut seamlessly to the next video because we've copied and pasted those attributes. Let's have a look at one last option here. We'll just select both these videos and tap V to disable them. We'll grab this video and we'll just come and use the instant picture effect from the pip kit. So you can see very nice and quickly, we get this Polaroid style effect, we'll stretch out our obscure there, so it keeps that obscured. So then we'll play this through, you can see we get this nice little Polaroid effect pop up, and obviously we've got all the same or similar controls within the options here for changing things like the outline color, for moving the position of things for changing the height of our photo um, and that type of thing. So as you can see here with the PipKit tools, we've got this real nice 
range of different tools that will allow us to position these picture-in-picture -picture videos. Real nice, easy to set up, nice way of controlling the color, the outlines, the position of the video within those pictures, and then also really nice to be able to copy and paste those attributes so that you can keep consistency of color, location, and that type of thing within your video. So I hope this is a helpful overview of the picture-in-picture -picture plugin for Final Cut Pro that you can get on FX Factory. If you do have any questions, then please leave them in the, the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.